Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video for you guys. So, today, I'm going to be reviewing Arrow Season 7, Episode 13, titled Star City Slayer. Overall, this episode was definitely pretty solid. I did think there were some issues, some writing stuff that I didn't like. I'll get into all of that later, but for now, let's start off with what I like. Now, for sure, the Stanley plot was interesting. You know, Stanley returns to take his revenge on people in Star City, and it is revealed that the Star City Slayer had struck before in Central City before he got sent to Slabside. Now, that's pretty interesting and definitely expands the world. So, Dinah gets involved, which I'm not really a fan of. But this episode also does a great job at being super suspenseful and making it feel like a bit of a horror movie. And I thought they did that really well. There were some times when I was actually a little bit freaked out. And I thought Stanley was a good villain. I thought the way Oliver defeated him was pretty cool. And overall, I think this episode... It definitely continued the story, but we still don't know who the main villain of the season is, which is kind of starting to bother me a little bit. But they are making do right now with compact storylines, which I don't mind. Again, I thought this episode was very solid. Curtis is now leaving to go to Washington, D.C., and he is actually gone for now, guys. Eco Kellum basically said... You know, I'm, I will come back at a certain point, but I don't want to do this right now. So, I mean, that's fine. I never really loved Curtis, but, I mean, he was a presence on this show. So, we'll have to see what it's like without him at all. And it was nice to see that rest of Team Arrow working with the SCPD. I thought that was very cool, and I like where they're going with this, you know, stepping closer and closer to legalizing vigilantes in Star City. Now, everything William in this episode was pretty bad. Like, can, I'm so glad he's leaving for now. Going with his grandparents. Because, holy cow, that kid is annoying. Like, I am sorry. I like William in the future. Like, in the flash forwards, I think he's a pretty good character. But in this present day, oh my gosh, the kid is really annoying and... That I don't know why Arrow thinks we want this. Like, we don't want this drama in our Arrow episode, so why do they keep putting it in here? But it did give Stephen Amell a chance to show how great of an actor he is, so that is always welcome. There was a little bit, like, not as much Green Arrow as I would have liked in this episode, and at the very end, it's revealed that Black Star, in the Flash Forwards, is... Felicity's daughter. I am not a fan of this at all. And I don't know why they did that. Like, why? I, like, maybe they'll do it good. But it's, at this point, it's like, why though? Like, uh, I'm not a fan of that at all. But other than that, the episode was pretty solid, enjoyable to watch. I'll give it an 8.6 out of 10. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.